Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Teak and Me. Yep, um, it's been a while. Uh, this one's kind of, well this one's going to be pretty different. Um, we have decided to do cakes and ale. Cakes and ale. Um, because <clears throat> something was brought to our attention that was made that is beautiful. It That's, almost brings a tear to my eye. Yeah, I, uh, I saw a Facebook ad recently for uh, what are essentially booze cakes. Um, it's made by a company called Lulu Liquor Cakes. And uh, needless to say, we put in an order on Wednesday, and uh, it came today. Yeah, they're out of Tennessee, by the way. Oh. All right, let's see what we got. So, so we got... Pull them all out. Yeah. So the sampler pack, you can get the sampler pack. It's like 55 bucks, and it comes with uh, strawberry margarita, bourbon vanilla, pineapple upside down, chocolate peanut butter, mudslide made with Oreo cookies, and peaches and cream. And then they have a couple of specialty ones. That's an extra. Oh, that one I bought specifically for me. <laughs> um, nice. They there's a specialty one. That, well, they make two specialty ones, and but one of them we couldn't get because they were sold out. But the other one is uh, charmingly delicious, which uh, from what I saw and understand from the web page um, is uh, Lucky Charms inspired. So that might be pretty good. And then um, to wash down our tasty cakes, we have mead from Bootleg. And they're out of Bootleg Hill. Yep, they're out of Davenport, uh, Iowa. Out of Davenport, Iowa. We've had them on the channel before, I've been informed. A long time ago. A long Back time in ago. Virginia. Oh, man. That is a yeah, long dude, time I was ago. on the hall when, when we had Last them time, on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's been a hot minute then. Well, since we have all of this to try, why don't we uh, get cake faced? All right. <laughs> yeah, a little sticker came in the came and in the box, and then uh, so if you send a video of you opening and trying their your cake jar, you can send the you can scan the QR code off the card that they send you to submit it, um, and then they. Uh, Send you a, another free cake jar. Well, so. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so where do we want to start, man? Like, man, I don't know. Well, I guess since I bought that extra one, I'm going to start with the bourbon vanilla. Okay. <laughs> okay. Comes, uh, a little nifty little lid there. Let's give it a spin. Ooh. You can kind of smell it too. Mm, yeah, you can kind of smell the bourbon. Well, so it's yeah. kind of what it looks like. Um, skull. Skull. Hmm. That's moist, dude. Wow, that's good. That is good. And you get the, it's not like super heavy with the bourbon flavor. Yeah. It's it, not like taking a shot of bourbon. Well, it is and it isn't. You can taste the bourbon that's in it, but it's, there's no bite to it. I don't really know how to describe yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's there, but it's not like it's yelling at you from the other room. Yeah. Um, it's not like... And the vanilla isn't, like, overpowering. Yeah. You know, it just... It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. That's really pleasant. Yeah. And it's it's light. Yeah. You know, it's not, like, super rich or super heavy like a lot of cake frostings are <coughs> nowadays. Yeah, and that's something that... Oh. Which one's... Oh, chocolate peanut butter? Ooh. That's something that is a bit of a problem with some of the cakes. It's like... A bunch of it is just icing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is the 
What was this one? Chocolate peanut butter? Yeah, chocolate peanut butter. Mm. Nice and mm. gooey looking. Okay. Yeah. Um, kind of reminds me of... It's almost kind of like... You remember um, like the Reese's like whipped cream can? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the spray, the spray whipped cream that's <laughs> Reese's flavored. Yeah, that's kind of what it's kind of kind of what it makes me think of. Like the cake itself is, it's like chocolate and peanut butter, and then they they frost it with. I think it's just plain. Looks like just plain uh, frosting. Yeah, I don't know, but it's 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 real moist. It's real yummy. And you can still taste like that peanut butter and chocolate. On you know after long after you've eaten it, and it's not just like just like the other one. It's not like a big overpowering like right who sort of flavor. It's right. It's pleasant, which is amazing to me. Yeah. Like there's, I don't want to get kicked in the face with a peanut butter boot. You know. Yeah. Well, let's roll in the Oreo. But oh, if I can get it open, we have a storm system coming through, so my arthritis. Is kicking in. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't really have much of a smell to it. That frosting is uh, cookies and cream. I mean, it's they said it's made with cookies and cream, but yeah. Oh, I thought it was just the cake. There's that for you. Oh no, it's mudslide made with Oreo cookies. Yeah, there you go. So there's cookie pieces in the cake. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It's uh, again, it's a mudslide. It's, I mean, it's, it's it's nice and fluffy. Yeah, you know, it's not super heavy, but it's not super dry like you know some of the store bought cakes you find. Oh yeah, that, that frosting isn't super rich, but it has. It has like a rich flavor, you know, like the flavor really shines through, but it's not heavy like richer frostings are. Oh yeah. Where it's just a pound and a half of sugar kicking you straight in the teeth. Yeah. Oh God. Oh, Pineapple Upside Down Cake is one of my favorite cakes of all times. So this is, uh, I'm probably gonna hijack this one. <laughs> what that one looks like uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, peanut gallery is saying i might not be allowed to oh man that stuff that smells so good mm. oh flaky but or like mm, not flaky i don't know how to describe kind of crumbly. it crumbly yeah crumbly what juicy moist? like y'all know how to make a cake like holy hell sorry yeah uh, this <laughs> is incredible um, um. You got the pine that beautiful pineapple flavor in there. That just I think for me the main selling point is is more the cake and not the frosting. A lot of people tend to go more for the frosting portion and don't yeah. really pay attention to the cake because it gets hidden underneath, you know, a pound of frosting. Uh, a pound of frosting. Well, and that's the big thing, like if it, it's the the cake itself is the foundation to it. If that isn't isn't good isn't right, then yeah, then you know. All right, here's here's your Lucky Charms. I think that's like that's Lucky Charms, right? Yeah, the charmingly delicious one. Yeah. Okay. Kind of smells like Lucky Charms. <laughs> no. It's kind of what it looks like. Oh yeah, definitely. Like if you put milk on your Lucky Charms, and then step away for a minute. But it's like, instead of using milk, it's like they use Bailey's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's freaking perfect. That's really good. I really like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... It's like... It's like drinking the milk out of the bowl after you eat the cereal, but the milk was Bailey's. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> All right. Strawberry margarita. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. So that 
you know the uh, strawberry um, um, cupcakes you can get at the, in the gas station? Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of smell wise. Yeah. And this one's just it's it's just pink with the frosting, but this one I think you can you can smell the alcohol. It's got a little bit of a bite to it. It's <laughs> you good, can yeah. smell more of the alcohol with this one. Yeah. That tastes just like a strawberry margarita. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of margaritas, but that's pretty good. Yeah, and uh Ooh, and that strawberry cake. Because the frosting is what is what the margarita flavor comes from. You know, like that, that kind of tequila bite. Yeah. But then that strawberry cake come, came in at the end. Dude, that's... Man, mm. that's incredible. All right, so peaches and cream. Peaches for and the, cream. For the final one. Oh, boy. Yeah. Ooh. It, it reminds me of a... Uh... <laughs> What are the peach fuzz, uh, fuzzy navel? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's what y'all like going for, like but you know, that's kind of what it reminds me of smell wise. Yeah. Yep. Very apparent peach oh, yeah. flavor. It's like eating a peach ring. Yeah. That's. That's dangerous. Hey y'all, that, that was that, that creamy icing at the end. That's we're gonna have to start running again, dude. We're gonna get fat if we keep yeah. ordering this. <laughs> that is good. That's that's, that's um, insane. I, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I I don't know. I was I was expecting like in because because the thought was okay. It's it's like regular white cake with a booze flavored frosting. Frosting, and, and instead it's more of y'all have managed to incorporate that boozy flavor into the actual cake. And the icing, and the as icing. Well. And but the just... icing takes more of a back seat, and it, it kind of en enhances the entire cake jar. Oh yeah, and it, it instead of overpowering the the cake, and you are picking sugar crystals out of your teeth. Yeah, you know, or you're you're chewing the the frosting. Oh yeah, that that's like that's 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 awesome, guys. So. Anyway, well, on to what we normally do. Yeah. Because that, we had to. Yeah. So, Bootleg Hill out of Iowa, as we already said. So, I got one today that was, we didn't have last time. I'm pretty sure if we did. Sorry, guys. Um, but, Orange Sunshine. Oh. Um, so, this is just like their orange meat? Yeah. Uh, honey, honey wine with oranges. Made with oranges. Um, my eyes are bugging out from driving all day. If you want to read that, uh, Bootleg Hill is a small, passionate craft meadery on the banks of the Mississippi River, located in the Quad Cities. Uh, founded by a home brewer, we make our meads to be enjoyed. Um, again, from Davenport, Iowa. Uh, honey wine with oranges, mead with oranges. Our orange sunshine is a well-balanced, semi-sweet traditional mead with oranges made in small batches by hand from unprocessed orange blossom honey directly from the hive. Okay. Our mead with oranges is all natural, gluten-free, uh, with no additional sulfites added. Contains only naturally occurring sulfites. Enjoy our refreshing orange sunshine any time of year. And then, of course, it has the government warning on the, you know, that's on every alcoholic uh, container. Man, yeah, what are we looking at? Alcohol by volume. Uh, 14. 14%. This is a 500 milliliter, milliliter bottle. Um, honey wine made with oranges. This is just kind of what it says. Uh, reserve mead with oranges. Nice. So, well, let's pop it and... See how we I do, do like this little like sticker, safety seal. yeah, the safety yeah. seal, and then it's a re it's a resealable bottle, like yeah, <clears throat> those are, I always like those because we we reuse them, yeah. <laughs> a little flashback there from uh, <laughs> yeah, man. 
So for those of you that don't understand that reaction, I um, a couple years ago when we were still in California, I made another batch of habanero maple. And I went to go vent it, and I ended up taking a shower with it. And by shower, I mean it blasted across my face, um, splattered all over the kitchen, and actually made it into the living room behind the couch. Yeah. And in a couple of other places that I didn't see. Well, when we moved out, we found bits of it behind the refrigerator when we cleaned behind there. But, yeah. Ooh. So, ooh. Good, good bit of bubbles. <coughs> Real nice clarity. Yeah, it's nice and light. It lets you know it's there, smell wise. It's got that kind of effervescent feel to it. It's very bubbly. Oh yeah. So definitely smells uh, floral. Smells <sighs> citrusy. Oh, you can smell the you can smell the alcohol. Yeah. Um, that is a lot of orange. Yeah. I was not expecting that much orange. That's good. That's, it's got a good smoothness to it, a lot of flavor, a lot of orange flavor. <laughs> Man, it's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, it's uh, almost like a semi. Yeah, but uh, it's 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 like a mix between a semi, a dry, and like a sparkling mead. Are you gonna? What? Final both side down and orange. What? How is it? It actually pairs really well together. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get the with with the pineapple upside down cake, you get that super sweetness, and the orange draws it back. The peanut gallery is looking in. Long time lurker. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um... Okay. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Anyway, um... So, final thoughts for the, uh... The liquor cakes? Well, let me just say I think I made the right choice by, uh... Ordering a spare just for myself. Yeah. Um, I'll probably tear into that here in a minute. Yeah, if if you guys are interested, uh, is it uh, Lulu, Lulu Liquor Cakes dot com? Um, we got a which one? That's the that's chocolate, the chocolate peanut, peanut butter. butter. Which one are you looking for? That's bourbon vanilla. If you're looking for the pineapple, he has it in his hand. That's Lucky Charms. Yeah. Um, sorry, the. Uh, our, our uh, the public the affairs officer has uh, taken a sacrifice. Yeah, um, so. LuluLiquorCakes.com. Uh, it them is up. it is just like eating a bowl of Lucky Charms with Bailey's. And uh, but you can order them, ships right to your house. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't have to sign for anything. Um, what was the thing? It was if it's ordered before. If you order it, so they only ship Monday through Wednesday. So if you order it on any of those days, um, you got the notification like a couple. Hours I got later yeah, I got it the, a couple of hours later that it had shipped. It will ship within that time frame, but if you order it Thursday through Sunday, they they won't ship it until until Monday, and that's to keep keep the cakes fresh. Yeah. Um. So. But that little thing, definitely check them out. So yeah, um, they, and they they tell you that uh, on their on their website whenever you go to look. Um, the other flavor that they have that we had didn't even mention, but because it was sold out, oh, is a, yeah, it's a cinnamon toast crunch inspired uh, yeah. flavor. Um, they do have a gluten free version of that. I don't know if they have a gluten free version for all of them. But for those of you who have gluten tolerances or, you know, strictly eat gluten-free stuff, you can try it too. They, they do have those options. Um, I, if you're going to order it, try to order one that, that they don't normally make that way. You could probably just talk to them. Um, and uh, 
and try to coordinate with them to make one for you. But um, you never know. But um, but yeah. So you guys, awesome job on the cakes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, bootleg Hill, real good on an orange. Wow, you you, you definitely let us know it was there. Yeah. So um, I guess on on that. Um, yeah, I don't really have any final thoughts. Um, all right, well, I guess, as always, be great to one another. Eat and drink responsibly. And skull. Skull. <laughs> oh. Hmm.